I like to say that Culture Eats strategy for lunch. It's been an exciting couple years um, since me and, and my group took over, but this season in particular has been a blast. We're really excited with what we're building. You gotta come play because every single game is a separate entity. And if you don't do the little things the right way, it's kinda hard to get a victory. I feel like, especially early on in the season, I kinda hit a low point. The team's still believing in me, the coach is still believing in me. I mean, I've just tried to keep confidence throughout that and over the midpoint way in the season, I still have extreme confidence in myself and my abilities. We all, you know, are wearing this uniform and, you know, it's on us to make sure that, you know, we give our best effort to push this franchise forward. Harrison comes in every day and just puts in the work. You know, it's inspiring to see. He's great to have around the locker room, especially for the younger guys. It's somebody to look up to and, and kind of mold their routine and their craft around. He's a guy that I can go to for anything on and off the court. He's been good for me, just telling me what to expect. I'm in the NBA and just been encouraging. So I'm glad that he's on this team. He's a, a great veteran to have. He's one of those guys who just goes out there and leads by example. He's been playing great for us all year. He's uh, you know, one of our anchors offensively and defensively. There's a lot on the floor and off the floor that he does that our younger guys watch and learn and grow the right ways. Harrison, obviously the consummate pro, a championship level winner, something that our young team looks up to him for. Harrison's disposition, his demeanor, I think is really what gives everyone else a sense of calm. He has to be around just with his mere presence alone. I just want to try to be, you know, the most consistent player that I can be for my teammates. Throughout 82 games, there's so many ups and downs, but just knowing you can look to the right, look to the left, you know, and rely on the guy next to you is important. Half forward, 6'8", 40, Harrison Barnes! Is in the building, folks. Barnes with a quick three. Got it. That must be jelly because Jam can't shake like that. Inside Barnes, and he is feasting in the paint. Barnes counted and one for four. We're going to give a shout and spend some time discussing a couple teams that tend to fly under the radar. One in particular is having a hard time flying under the radar because they're playing so damn well, and that's the Sacramento Kings. They have one of the best fan bases in the NBA. Like Their fans deserve this. I think everybody knows the fan base is, is passionate here, but you, you don't know the full extent of it until you're, you're in the midst of it. To see the packed house and the standing room only. I think there's no more passionate fans in the NBA than the ones right here in Sacramento. The culture that Mike Brown's brought in has been fantastic. Our guys are just unselfish, and it starts with our two all-stars, Foxy and Sabonis. Fox going up high. And they just got to work through it and grow together. Big game from Trey for us tonight, defensively, offensively. He had a couple of big rebounds, he knocked down a couple of big threes. Sabonis, nice kick out, Lyles, three ball. Got it. Davis trying to answer back. Got it. 
Houston on the 9-2 run, but Domas looking to end down. Sacramento will like to be in the first of two straight against the Houston Rockets. Monk with Page, the lob. Set it with his chest. Elevates. Oh, it's a bonus. in the front zone. The bonus got to his strong hand. Slow cut by Bonner. Got it. Victory belonging to the Kings tonight, vanquishing the Houston Rockets. All of our guys have remained extremely professional. They've gotten their work. If they didn't play or they're low-minute guys, they come in and play in the low-minute games that we have. And, uh, you know, they keep themselves ready. Lyles got into the lane. Little jelly Right now we feel confident in the group that we have. We feel confident in what we're building. And, you know, every guy staying ready, be willing to step up, feel like we'll have success. You talk about Mezzi. I just said that right now, you're slotted roughly for six to eight minutes. As a backup center, you're faster than everybody that you're going to play against, and you're extremely skilled. Deli, what's up, man? Man, I'm going yeah. to just wing it, man. Go off the top. I'm going to go off the top, man. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Chemezi came to us as a 14-year-old raw freshman who sought to plant his flag here. He was part of a championship pursuit throughout his four years here, set an academic standard, graduating with over a 3.5 GPA, having schools such as Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, three of the most prestigious universities in the world to grace our campus, recruiting him for basketball and academics. So I had this student in my class, this was Chemezi at the time. Now, fast forward a couple years, once he's here playing basketball on the team. He then is the first student in my first year as AD that we had signed to a Division I program. He signed to USC. And it kind of started something. From there, we had continued success. Since you, we have had over 30 Division I scholarships since then. Chimezie that you see is who he is. Whatever he sets his mind to do, he makes sure that he achieves it. His character is impeccable. You know, what he does on and off the court. I hope that this inspires somebody. I hope that when people walk in the gym and they see my number hanging up there, that it will represent something more than just a basketball number and actually represent somebody that went out and really just fought hard and, and tried to chase their dreams and try to make things happen for themselves. It's a great feeling. Uh, obviously, we have a game we have to go win tomorrow, so we're just going to count this as a team bonding uh, experience. We've been saying it all year. We feel like we have a deep team, and we know guys are going to be injured, be sick, whatever it may be. And you know, having that next man up mentality has been huge for us. Gamonta Sabonis is out, non-COVID illness, so Rashawn Holmes will be making his first start of the season. Nice pocket pass, Rashawn Holmes rolling to the basket. Probably feel like they've been on the short end of the whistle here early in this game as Lawndale's O sends it down. One on one against Gabriel. LeBron there to swallow him up. Uh -huh. No call. Here comes Brown Jr. in transition, finding LeBron. Nice hustle. Keegan, put him on a poster, young fella. Okay, oh my gosh. Fox putting Christie on skates. Got him. Calling his own number. LeBron. Looking for the touchdown pass to Toscano Anderson. As Westbrook is swapped. Get it out of here. Kevin Herter, the rejection. Barnes in transition. Slow rolls his way. Tip. Holmes battling counted. The big fella, Rashawn Holmes, a double-double in his first start of the season. HB spin in traffic. Harrison Barnes in transition. Pulling in his way, three got it. Get it out of here, Metu. Met him at the rim. They're looking for a three right here as none nails it. And Rashawn Holmes is fouled by Christie. Seven for seven from the floor. They're shooting his first free throw with five seconds. 
and he gets it. Holmes knocks down a pair. That is big. Big time. And Sacramento has won its fifth straight game. We got to do it together. You know, Domas is not a guy you're just going to be able to replace with one person. You know, what he brings to this team, you know, we, we can't replace. So we just wanted to come out there, do it by committee. Everybody stepped up tonight to get this win, and uh, it's a team win, great team win, and you know, I was happy I was able to play a part. Fuck! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Shit, Rich. What's up, Rich? Jordan, what we got, baby? HB, good job. You guarded LeBron, Russ, six defensive uh, rebounds. You played 40 minutes. You were great. But, you know, we're going to give it to somebody who has been ready. He led the team in rebounding, defensive rebound, overall 11, eight on defense, got uh, four deflections. It's just a great opportunity, you know, to still find myself professional basketball player, still get an opportunity. You want to continue to work. You know, continue putting the effort and energy behind it, and like I said, the rest can take care of itself. Here we go, here we go. Yes, sir. You're right, you're right, that's it. Hey, 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 hey. Missed that one badly. Fox seats right with them. And Murray committing the foul on the helmet. Mike, more on Keegan. It's, there aren't a lot of top four picks that are asked to be starting contributors Correct. to a winning team. Correct. Can you speak to that challenge that's placed upon his <clears throat> shoulders as a rookie to contribute the way he is for a playoff team? Keegan, he's in a different spot than probably the first six or seven players. He's got to be at a level right now that most of those guys don't have to be because of the situation that he's in and the amount of pressure that I'm putting on him. For me, I always have that chip on my shoulder no matter what. And I know that greatness takes time. And I know that I have a long ways to go in my development as a basketball player. He works so hard every day to develop his game. I and mean, that's just the type of person he is. He has remarkable poise that belies his age. When people think of Rookie of the Year, that they understand that his journey right now is different than the other guys that were drafted around him, and he's responding the right way. Keegan's just a rookie who comes in, drives winning, does all that's asked. We get the Keegan Murray chant going a lot. performance to watch tonight from Keegan Murray. I, I, I mean, I, I love his confidence too, you know. He, I mean, I slapped him five after the game like five or six times and, and I, I said, do yo shit, Keegan Murray. And you know what he said? He goes, he goes, he smiled, he goes, I got a little wiggle. <laughs> I like, keep doing the wiggle. Whatever wiggle is, keep doing it because <laughs> it was fun. Another boisterous, ebullient crowd here at Golden One Center. Off to the corner. Barnes got it! Starts the game higher than fifth grade. Murray with another Sacramento three. Lyles and Trey continues the trend. Gets one more month from downtown. Got it! The highest scoring first quarter of the season. It just shows what we're capable of as a team. It brings incredible energy when we're sharing the ball and knocking down shots. It's like flowing water with us. 
trade. He's got a tremendous feel, and his team defensive instincts within our scheme can help us get to the next level. The defensive stopper right now. Trey coming off the bench, Malik. I feel like those guys changed the game, uh, especially in the second half. I feel like the more bench production that we have, the better we'll be, and I think they're just ready when they come into the game. Personally, I can't control, you know, if the ball goes in. I can't control how many minutes I get, but I can control how I go out there and, and the effort I put forth, so I just got to continue to do that. Big news out of Doko this afternoon. According to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, the Kings and GM Monty McNair have agreed to a contract extension. This job is a lot of fun, uh, but there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure, a lot of sacrifices to be made. But really, it's about learning and taking from many different people. What the coach and the GM have done is, is incredible. And I believe this is like the most exciting show in sports right now. You might have the greatest strategy, but at the end of the day, it's about the culture. Uh, and I think uh, what we're seeing here is, is a shift that's happened right in front of our eyes. Amanti is, I was extremely pleased to see that those guys got their extension. I love him, just working with him was amazing. He learned a lot, we talked a lot, debated a lot, but he always had the coaches back and understood, you know, that's not just the numbers game. You know? Wes Wilcox uh, you know, is a very good compliment, fills in a lot of, of my weaknesses. His expertise, experience, he's been a coach, he's been a front office member, just invaluable. Really helps with the with the day to day and make sure this thing keeps going. We work every day to do our best to support, uh, to debate, to make decisions. And so Monty's been incredible about creating an environment to where all of that debate, all of that work can be done. And uh, I've really enjoyed working with them. We're certainly happy with where we're at right now, but we like to say here, we don't think the work is ever done. Our offense is good enough to do a lot of great things, but can we get consistent with the way we're gonna defend? And it's not about where we're sitting in the standings, it's about us playing the right way understanding that this is a marathon and, and not a sprint, and being focused every time we step on the floor at getting a little bit better. Sacramento Kings looking to come out with a little bit more of a defensive disposition in this game. Off the clutch, De'Aaron! Oh, caught a couple bodies! Murray comes off the pin down, had it partially blocked. Good hands by Barnes to come up with a steal. Fort Gobert got away with an illegal screen. Edwards with a little highlight. Murder one more. Wide open, Murray. Out the other side to Fox. Shot clock is down to five. Fox launching the three. Got it. And De'Aaron Fox feeling it offensively. They're going to hit Edwards and try and trap him. Boy, I like that call by Mike Brown. Mitchell with the foul on the pull-up. Minnesota with a three-point lead. They show him bodies, they get the steal. Monk on the breakout, raises up and lays it in. The three, Russell off the mark, a whistle and a foul underneath. That's the end of his evening. Daniels left open for the tie. Got it. In a 1-4, Fox operating, raising up for the win. And will go to overtime, he left it short. Kicks it out to a wide open Lyles. What a pass, a dime drop. But lose Edwards for the tie. Wow. Gonna get the switch on to him. Shot clock down to four. Fox, wide open, Lyles slams it in. To be able to go into overtime, you know, in someone else's building and, and, and get out a win is definitely big for us. When you have a group of people that are hungry to win, that support each other the way that these guys support each other, and they embrace their roles at the highest of high levels, in my opinion, is a dangerous team. Good on, y'all. Let's keep this thing going. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. There's one Indian word I'd like to teach you, and the word is shikari. Shikari means hunter. So season one, we were shikaris. We were hunters. Now we've become, in season two, we've become Shikar. We've become the hunter. He's 
floor to the rim. Two hand flush off the dribble. Swipe it. Give me that. Five, five. Malik, a jump shooting freak. Knowing that you're in a position to do something that hasn't been done in almost two decades, that should light a fire on you.